एवरीवन हियर्स योर एसएमटीएस गाइड विशिंग यू ऑल अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग वेल आई एम हियर टुडे टू टेल यू समथिंग यस सी मोर ऑन लेस वी ऑल नो द लोकेशन ऑफ द स्टेट्स देयर कैपिटल्स एंड द यूनियन टेरिटरीज बट समटाइम्स वी गेट कंफ्यूज्ड इजंट इट इज पंजाब इन द नॉर्थ और इन द ईस्ट इज हिमाचल प्रदेश इन द नॉर्थ और इन द वेस्ट एसेट्रा एसेट्रा So SMTs have brought in front of you all some tricks with which we could easily relate the name of the states, their capitals, and the union territories, so that we could easily remember the exact location of the states, their capitals, and the union territories. So why to wait for? Let's go. So here you can see the Indian map, which is totally blank. We have to fill this up. We have to fill this Indian map with the Indian states, along with their capitals and with the union capital territories. Okay. Now once let us see the directions this is the north this is the east this is the west and this is the south okay now let's start by filling the indian map so today we'll start with the northern states so always remember this thing that the indian map is always starting with a Union capital territory and it is Ladakh. The Indian map is always starting with a what? Union capital territory and that is Ladakh. Okay, since two thousand and nineteen, it is considered to be a union capital territory. Okay, so we'll put this block of Ladakh over here. And what is the capital of Ladakh? The capital of Ladakh is. le the capital of ladakh is le so we will put the flag of le which is the capital of ladakh over here seen okay next what we have so next we have this jammu and kashmir yes we can call it in short j and k this we could call in short j and k and one more thing is there i think you all have heard about the amarnath yatra isn't it so if you want to go to the amarnath yatra you have to go to jammu and kashmir as in short i told you j and k so we will put this block over here okay and what is the capital of jammu and kashmir it's shrinagar the capital of jammu and kashmir is shrinagar okay so we will put this flag of shrinagar over here see it's done okay so we have the state himachal pradesh yeah you can see and now we will put the block of himachal pradesh over here okay so what is the thing that we could easily relate with himachal pradesh and we could easily remember the location of himachal pradesh over here the term himachal pradesh is derived from the sanskrit word hima which means snow means barf okay the literal meaning of the state's name translates to in the lap of the himalayas so himachal pradesh is a state which lies in the lap of the himalayas and what's the capital of himachal pradesh The capital of Himachal Pradesh is Shimla. Okay, so now we'll put the flag of Shimla in Himachal Pradesh. Done. Next we have Punjab and Haryana. Okay, so we'll put the block of Punjab over here. Then. we have haryana we'll put this block over here haryana now what is the thing that easily relates with punjab see the word punjab is a compound of the persian words panj means five and ab means water so thus punjab roughly means the land of five rivers so punjab roughly means the land of five rivers and haryana is a state which we could easily relate with the color green okay in hindi the color green is said what hari hare rang right 
so haryana is a state with greenery all over it okay and there is one more thing that is common between these two states that is the capital yes both of these two states have the same capital and it is chandigarh it is chandigarh so now we'll put the flag of chandigarh over here next what we have we have uttarakhand yes now we'll put the block of uttarakhand over here now what's the thing that we could easily relate with the state uttarakhand uttarakhand's name is derived from the sanskrit words uttara meaning north and khanda meaning land all together it simply means northern land so uttar ke disha ki taraf jo bhumi hai usko uttarakhand kehte hain okay and the capital of uttarakhand is dehradun it's dehradun okay so now we'll put the flag of dehradun over here see it is done beautifully isn't it so today we are almost done with the northern states and in our next video we will fill up the indian map with the other states as well okay and we will also see that what more we get to relate with the states which could be easier for us to remember the exact location of the states as well okay so till then keep a watch on our smts facebook page smts instagram profile igtv and smts youtube channel thank you